Okay, uh, we're, we're finishing the sugya of Sikrikin. Just to reiterate, the Sikrikin were these extortionists. They were Goyim. They would take away your land on the fear that they would kill you. They then would sell it at a discount. They then would sell it at a discount. And the after 12 months, it was hidden in the Sikrikin. So the original owner would get first dibs to buy it back. But he won't be believed to say that he didn't sell it to, he wasn't making it to the Sikrikin. And Rebbe said that you would go ahead and pay the owner, Shimon, who buys it now, would pay Ruvain, who had the field taken away, would give him a quarter of the value of the field. That is the Machloikis in the Gemara. What exactly is this quarter? I'll explain to it the following way, okay, guys? This, I'm Shimon, Shimon's my math guy. There's, there's a sugya, how do you go ahead and... Uh, do, how do you go ahead and figure out quarters in Judaism? And, and, and do you figure it out milagel, milagav, or milara? Do you look at it as internally or externally? Meaning the difference is, is, a, is it a fourth or a fifth? Perish. A quarter means a f- one more of three. So let's say you had a hundred, guys. Let's say you had a hundred. Each three is 33 and a third. So your fourth would be a 33 and a third. You're, in other words, the fourth is one more than the previous three. If you go mille, mille, mille bar outside, then it's your classic, you're dividing it by, well, four is, 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 is 25, right? So it's one, it, you, you, you go ahead and divide a quarter into, so therefore, but really it is, you take that quarter and make it one more. So then it would be, then it would be on a hundred, you would have each one being 20. So 20, 80, and one. Be, so it's either the difference between if you're going to divide it by a quarter, it's 25, but a third, it's, it's 33 and a third. Okay. With that, we'll go through the Gemara very quickly. It says the Gemara. Uh, two lines from the bottom. Zu Mishnah Rishona, two lines where it gets wide. Zu Mishnah Rishona, right? This is the first Mishnah that we said is Sikrikin. If he sells his Mavatal, it depends if you go to first. They go first to the Balabas, then, then it's bottle, and first go to the Sikrik, then it's Kayan, right? Be, be, uh, the opposite way. First to the Sikrik, it's, it's bottle. Bezn Shel Achei Ramanru, Halakeach Min HaSikrikin, Noisin Labailam Revia. That you go ahead and buy the Sikrikin, you so Shimon, who's buying him the Sikrikin, will give to the original owner, Ruvain, a quarter. Amarav, Revia Bekarka, or Revia Bemois. Either if you pay, you're paying either a quarter of a Karka or, or, or a quarter of Bemois. And which is 25 percent. Ushmul Amar Reviru Karka Shehin Shlish Bemois, which is 33 and a third. The Mike Mifligi Masa Vashmuz of the opinion the Chi River Zavin. You're selling mad. It was worth 133, and you're going ahead and selling. You're selling it for 100. Masa and the Chi Chumsha Zavin, a fifth less, which is why it's 25. Basically, Zumish to be shown. The Bezin Shal Achir Mamru Halakech Min Asikri in Leisin LeBaylam Revia Viad Baylam Al Yoyna. Ratsu be karka noitlin, ratsu be mois noitlin. A masai is man shein biyad on likach. That's if the owner doesn't have what to buy it back. If the owner has what to buy it back, he gets first dibs. Avol yesh biyad on likach. If but if the owner has the money, then hein kovin lechaladim. They would go before everybody else. Rebbe hoishiv bezdin. Rebbe went ahead and established the bezdin. Vinimnu and they were counted. Shem shasa b'fnei asrik and shnei masachodesh. It remains in the hand. Of the Sikrik in four or 12 months. And now the original owner cannot look kind of that wad. I, I, I never sold to him. I never meant to. Then a kola koidim likach sacha. Whoever comes first comes first. Aval, however, nice in the bailim revia be karkoi revia be moist. So the a kash on Shmuel. You see, not a not a third, but a revia. On Ravashi, ki tanya hi lacha shabo must liodo. We give him the cheshbin. If the money comes to his hand and it's a complete quarter, one third, one third, one third, and one third, that's what they're considering. Amarav, you don't test someone out. Anahavi b'minyona debe Rebbe says Rav, this 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 Bezdin that met Rebbe and overturned the din of Sakrikin that if it rains in the sand twelve months, anyone comes first gets it, right? It has to pay what a quarter. Is I was part of that Bezdin. Uminoi didi manu peresha, and they asked my opinion first. So guys, is this dinay nefashas or dinay mamanis? This is clearly dinay the mamanis, right? It's a question about monetary matters. And it's mashma, the beginning from Rav first. Now, Rav was from the younger members of the Bezdin. Rav, according to most, most places, is an Amoira. Rebbe was a Tana. 
So if we're going through the the, the cheshbon over here, it would appear as if what is as if Rav, they, Rav said they began with me first in a dine momentous matter. When it comes to Dine Mominus, that's Akasha. Or Dine Tyrus and Tumma, you begin from the largest member of the Bezdin. You begin from the, the largest, me- largest member of the Bezdin. The Dine Nefoshes, Maschilim and Atzad. And Dine Nefoshes, you begin from the youngest member of the Sanhedrin. So, why, if this is Dine Mominus, why did it begin with Rav? So, I'm a Rabba, Bere the Rabba, beat him Rav Hill, Bere the Rav Valis. Shiny minyona debe Rebbe, the cool minyona minatzad habe, Raskilin. Everyone, Rebbe's best, then even when it came to the stack of Dine Mominus, they began from the youngest and from the smallest, and therefore Rav says they began from Iberatia. Okay, so we have the Kasha, we have the Teretz. What is this din of Godel and, and, and cotton? Why by Dine Nefasha don't you begin with the Godel, and why by Dine Mominus not? So let, let's see Rashi a little bit. Says Rashi, who mean. Maschilim in Agadol, four lines down. Kishoimdim leminyan lerois in roiv mitam and roiv mitarin. When they go ahead and they want to get a consensus, so they would go ahead and start counting. They would go ahead and start counting, not from the largest one, minat sad. But when they would go ahead and want dine dine um, nefashos, then they would begin what from the side. Then they begin from v'leim in Agadol. Why? Shlo yelamid chayva. That you should be. You should not go ahead and be melamid a chayva. V'hashar nichnan mefanav. In other words, if it comes to capital punishment and Rav Moshe Feinstein Paskins, the guy is chayiv, it may go ahead and intimidate all the other dayonim to give their opinion. So therefore, in a dinay nefashas matter, you would begin from the youngest. So it's not to have Rav Moshe's opinion, right? Present. Shlo lechalik alav. Why shouldn't you argue on Rav Moshe? It says like Sana al. It says like Sana al Riv. Riv means a fight. But look the way it's written, Rashi. It's written without the Yud. It's written like Sana al Rav. Don't argue with the Rav. Now this is speaking by Dine Nefashis. So therefore, it's speaking by Dine Nefashis. Mukmini like Rav Perikam the Sanhedrin. Like when it comes to Dine Nefashis, always begin from the small. Why should you begin from the small by Dine Nefashis? That you should not go ahead, what and being chaylik on the on the on the on the av bezdin. So therefore, you begin by dinin fashis. You begin from the smallest. Okay. However, in the in the bezdin of Rebbe, they always began from the tzad. Even when it was dinin fashis, they began from the tzad. Even right, well, dinin fashis. No, even with dinin mominus, they began from the tzad. Mishum leisana al riv ukasiv chasib leyud Rashi dashin leisana al rab. Like Tachlik al Muflish of a Bezdin, like Mukmila the Rasha, the Krobadin and Fashas. They have forgotten to say for the Krobadin, but Tukman El Abedin and Fashas. In other words, so Rebbe's Bezdin, they even held the Indian Dine Mominus, you should go ahead wide, and Dine uh, Mominus, you should begin from the youngest. Even though the Pusik is speaking about Dine and Fashas, even Dine Mominus, they would begin from the youngest. That's what Rashi says. But if you look at Tysus, Tysus says, Pierce for countries, top places, the Mukilo Le Sana Al Riv, the Khaldava. Khaldava mean not only Dine Nefashis, but even Dine Mominus. They near it. Let me stop with the polygamistis in Sanhedrin. It's difficult to say that they would argue on a Mufurish mission of Sanhedrin. The IP. Ella, Ella, what is the guy? So what's the reason why Rebbe's best and they began from the Tsad? El Mishimanova. Rebbe began from the Tsad because he was such an honor of Shleila Haris Atzma Godl Hoyoisa. That he shouldn't make himself into such, such a big person, right? You shouldn't think he's such a big person. So the reason why he always began, even in a moment, in a moment, you began from the from this the the, the side, you began from the side, in a moment, is of course of Rebbe Zaniva. So Rashi says that the Pasik applied to both Dine and Fashas and Dini Mominus, it should begin from the side. And and Rebbe and, and Rashi and Tais says no, it had to do with the Anivas for Rebbe. And this segues beautifully into the Gemara, as you'll see now, that had everything to do with the Anivas of Rebbe. Okay. For Omar Rabba, Bered Rava, V. Tema Rebbe, Hillel, Bered Rav Valis. Right? If you look at Rashi, guys, look at Valis. Okay? You see that? Valis and Rashi doesn't explain anything. Guys, right? So what's Rashi telling us? So Rav Dov in Oppenheim is quoted by the Chassam Sleifa that 
there is if you wouldn't spell if you would spell it without a vav, you could spell it as Lucas the Lus. Look at Lus with some Savoy the Zara. Wasn't a good guy. So therefore, Rashi is telling you the correct spelling of Valis. It's with two vavs that you shouldn't. If it would be one vav, you could pronounce it as the Lus. So we want to go ahead and and and, and avoid that. Anyway, why does he say Mimais Moshe from days of Moshe? We had Rebbe, we did not find Torah and Gedula, Rashi teaches Gedula as wealth and greatness. We didn't find, from the days of Rebbe, we never find such a person that he had the whole kit and caboodle. He had everything. He had the Torah and he had the Gedula. What about Yeshua? Yeshua was the king. He was the head hancho. He was the main guy. And also he was wealthy. He says, Gemara, have a Laza. was alive. He says, Gemara, well, well, after Yeshua died, have a Laza. Says the Mavi Pinchis, I have Havi Pinchis. We have to Allah to die. Havi Zekanim, Havi Shol, Shol Amelach, Mishichva Gamal Gavayim Mikolo Am, Ben Shana Ben Shana Ben Malcha. It's like time Tam Chait. He didn't do an Avera at the age of fifty-two, right? Shmuel, he had Havi Shmuel. So in other words, he never was alone. A person that you find Gedula and and Gedula and Tyre and Gedula Malkim Echad, but Noach Nafshei. Shmuel died, and then Shashol was still alive. So Lechor, you had Gedula, Torah, and Gedula, Malkam Echad. Says Gemara, Kula Shani Karminan. I mean, his whole life. So since part of Shol's life, Shmuel was there, Rebbe's whole life, there was no one like him. Rebbe's whole life, there was no one like him. But have a David. I read a David. David, but we had Gedula, Malkam Echad. Have a Ira, have a Iri. He had Ira, he had Iri. Says more about Noach Nafshe Iri. Says more coolish shani binin. Have a shloima. Have a shimi ben geira. But cat lake. Is she killed shimi ben geira? The same terror. It's coolish shani kamina. I mean, all the years. Ha have a chiskia. Have a shevna. Ha actil. He was killed. Shevna was killed. So coolish shani kamina on all the years. But have a Ezra. Have a chemi ben chachalia. I like this Gemara. And it was so You have all these cases where we are. You know what the terrorists, Pasha terrorists says. Gemara Amar Rav Acha Berei the Rava Afani Yomer Mi Yemais Rebbe VeAd Rav Ashi Loi Metzina Torah Gedula BeMakam Echad. In other words, that's how great Rav Ashi was. There was no one like him. The Torah Gedula Rav Ashi, the the one who wrote the Gemara Ravina Rav Ashi, there was no one like him. Says Gemara Veloi VeHavi Huna Bar Nasan Mashma Huna Bar Nasan was an equivalent. Says Gemara Shiny Huna Bar Nasan. The Kaif Han Kafalela Ravashi. He he made himself what subservient to Ravashi and Mamela. He didn't find anyone who the tired of the duel of Makamecha from Rebbe's days to Ravashi's days. Okay, now we have some, some Kishmaka Gemara. Okay, also going along with the theme of Darke Shalom and 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 Tikana Oilam. This is continuation of the digression throughout this whole Perik, which we began in Perik Ashaleah. The whole Perik on his Zakin is what because you haven't mentioned get once. How many times you mentioned get? Helchus getting in this parak, mamish nothing. Says the Gemara, Cheresh Roy Meis Venirmaz. A Cheresh, Rashi says, Roy Meis. He can go ahead with his hands. He can make a remisa to give something, Venirmaz, and to acquire something. So he can buy, he can sell, and he could buy. You know, it's through 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 gestation through his hands, and you know that you get the idea that he knows what he's doing. Ben Besei Roy Meir, Koyfets Venikpas. It's a bigger chiddush. Kaifetz means with his lips. Even if he's not going in and moving any part, if he's just voicing it over, that will be enough. It's a less of a chiddush nomat than than uh, 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 than uh, Roimis Venirmas. It's a bigger chiddush. I mean, and when is all this? That's by metaltalin, but not by karka. It's by metaltalin and not by karka. And we'll say the reason why in a minute. Hapuutois, a young child, mechon mecha. The sale is a sale. Menchor memchor, and, and and the purchase is a purchase. Right, the opposite. Mechach mechum is the sale. A buy is a purchase. Mechach mechum is a sale. Is a sale. Bimetalvelin. Okay, we're going to see the reason. Tikkun oilam. Amr of Nachman. Machlekes by the the by the cheresh that's being make, making remazim is only by metalvelin. Avol begitin divya kol beremisa. Right, by gitin divya kol says remisa would work. We had guys earlier in the mesech the dafnon hey that a cheresh can marry a chereshes. Correct. How does he marry her? Obviously, he marries her since he can't talk. He's being marrying her biramisa. He's been marrying her with gestation, with, with move, movements, right? So I say gestation is the, that's not the right way. That's pregnancy. Just gestures. There's a word I'm looking for. That you know, it, you know, by yes. going ahead and 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 uh, making gestures, right? He's showing that he has an understanding. Uh, 
So he, obviously when he got married, he got married using the, this device. So who had din by getting divorced? It would be the same thing. Who had din by divorce? It would be the same thing. So pshita. So what's the Kiddush? Says him says him So ma the tema after metalton. I might think getting for sure, and even metalton would work. Kamash Malon, that what? That no. Kamash Malon, that what? That 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 there's no machloikis what by in other words, you would say there's no ma there's no machloikis by get, and even metalton, there's no machloikis. Kamash Malon, that by get there's no machloikis, but by what? But by by metaltal in the rizma chlekes, it could be army. I'm Reb Nachman. Kach chlekes metaltal and kach chlekes begin. You know, the same kach chlekes. And the sayer would say, by a get, you can go ahead and and, and do a voiceover. Right? Mashen came that the Tanakama would require no some type of of movement. I think more of an metaltal in Tanan. The mach mashma kach chlekes only by metaltal in. So it's more ema after metaltal in. Even they argue by get and even by metaltal in. But the same kach chlekes. According to the first lashon, they agree by get. By, and, and even even kfitza would work. And they argue by metatlin. According to the second shot, they argue by both get and metatlin. Like the Messiah of a voiceover would work. Like the Tanakama, you'd have to go ahead. But according to Rashi, use your hands and your, and your head somewhat. Use, you'd have to use your heads and your hands. Hapu'utois, mechon mechor. Hapu'utois, again, these young children. Their sale is a sale. Their purchase is a purchase. And their sale is a sale. Viat Kama. Well, what is the age, the starting age, the starting age of a, a puta? Now be aware, there's a puta means where a person has begins to get their, their mind, begin to understand things. So a girl matures earlier than a boy. So when we give you two numbers, the first number is speaking about the girl, and the second number is speaking about the boy, similar to 12 in a day and 13 in a day. Machvi Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Yitzchak, he showed him with his hands, kivar shish kvashev, like six or seven. That this sale will be a sale, and the mechum and mem. Rav Kahano Amar kibar sheva kibar tamne seven or eight. Masli santana kibar tisha kibar esa nine or ten. Le pigi kol chad bechad lefi chorfa. Each one would go ahead and be according to what to what their 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 their, their place or their ability. So in other words, it's not limiting to six. It's not not, not limiting it to ten. This is a window where usually puto you have kids who get it and kids will never get it. The time am I. In order what they should be able to live. Words, if they go to the grocery store, they won't have anything to buy. In order they chayav, in order that they should live, right? They, they were attacking that their deal is a deal. There's a nice machloikis among the in the, in the price game guys. So does kedei chayav mean they only made it the takana for what they need, but anything more it would not be? Or no, any sale, no matter how much the value is, would work. There's, 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 there's two different days. You guys hear? You hear the day. Gemara says, what's the takana? They chayav. In order they should be able to eat. So let's say the deal is, you know, for, for much more than they can eat. Then no. That's one opinion. The other opinion, no. Is once they made a deal is a deal, then it works across the board. Good. But again, it has to be someone who understands something. It can't be someone who, who, who you can fool. Now, this, this was all said. The person who said this was Rav Abba by Yaakov to Rav Yoichanon. And therefore, we digress who mentioned something else that Rav, uh, Rav that, that that he said that Rav that Rav Abba said in, in, in Rabbi Yerchanan. Now the, the pasuk over here is a pasuk of Malachim, and Yehu wants to kill the Oif they Habal, so he gets them dressed up in a certain outfit, and they were able to tell who the one Baal was the Avodah Zara at the time, and that way they were able to. It's like the orange jumpsuit for the prisoner. You're able to tell who it is, and then they, they, they wipe him out. So now by Yoimel Asher Ahamel Pacha. Right? He said to the one who was on Al Meltacha, So he told his tailor, go ahead and give this certain malbush to what to the Oyv Abal. Now we want to know my Meltacha. So here's the whole reason we brought it in is for the following person. Guys, nimlo means like this: you roll it in your fingers, and nimtach means that why you it, it's you you pull it. So therefore, that's loss of Meltacha. So it's a nutrition of two words of malo and matach. And he also of Dimir of Yachinon, Shigaloi Bunyam ben Nunyam. He seems to be a very rich person. Bunyam ben Nunyam. He, so he sent to uh, to uh, he sent to Rebbe the following: Sivni, Chaimes, Salsla, 
Umamala. These are all different types of garments. Sivni v'chaimis, ki amgusu palgad amgusa. When you went ahead and folded it up, the fibers were so fine, you were able to fold up a, a talus gadol to be the size of a walnut and a half. So salsla umalmala, like a size of an acorn, and half an acorn, that you were able to go ahead and fold it up. My my malmala, and that's why we went ahead and brought this in. It's dove that's nimnal v'nimtach. V'tuusad kama. Okay, the, the, the sale is a sale. What's the amount of overcharging, right? That is or under or in this case overcharging that the sale is off. It says like a stus, like a gadol. Now, this is a very shver rashi, by the way, guys. Listen, I'll, I'll, let me tell you outside what the din is, and you'll see what the shver kaidin rashi is. Here's the din of aina. The din of aina is if a person overcharges a sixth of its value. If it's less than a sixth, even though it's an overcharge, the mecha exists. If it's more than a sixth, then the mecha is off. If it's exactly a sixth, then the mecha is, is, the mecha is kayim, and you return the shtus. That's the halacha, guys. So if it's a, if it's a shtus, then the mecha is kayim, right? The deal's a deal, and you return the shtus. So you get the value. Look at this Rashi over here. It's a shvera Rashi. Uh, one, two, th- about six lines in the bottom. At shtus kigadol, at shtus, until the shtus, kona kainer, umaks aina. But that's not true. Until the shtus, it's, you don't have to return the aina. Guys, you hear the problem? I wonder, I wonder, I don't know. I, guys, I'm throwing this out to you just for the oil. Rashi didn't give all three, three possibilities of Aino. He gave only two. He didn't say exactly a sixth. He said less than a sixth and more than a sixth, correct? There's the third possibility, exactly a shtus. I guess maybe a kid cannot be so exact. Maybe within the ballpark, less than that or more than that, but not exactly that. And if that's the case, his less than that is the same as exactly the shtus. And then you'd have to go ahead and return return the mecca. Again, I'm saying it al regalachas, or actually I'm sitting, so I'm saying it on two feet. But again, just the Rav the Milsa, you should be aware, is a problem with this Rashi and a possible suggestion. Okay, Vaiter, back in the Gemara. I'm Rav Yonah Mabzeira, Boira Abaya, Matnasleimai. Okay, I know the business actions, the business transactions of a of a of a of a puta of a cotton who is young but understands things of a katana who's young but understands business transactions. What about matana? If they give matana, is a good matana. If they give matana, is a good matana. My Rav Yehi Omar, ain't matana matana. It's not a good matana. Mar Barabashi, I'm not matana. Now the names are important. The names are important. So we want to know is is it, is it a good matana or not? So Afkua, they switched around and they said Ma Baravashi, and they said Ma Baravashi. He said it's a, it's not a good matana. He said it's not a good. Matana. So again, the first lashon Ibn Taka said it really is good, and then he switched it around and he said it's not good. So what does it mean? Yes. Got to give it back. What does it mean? Aleph. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, it's not a matana. Okay. Some in Aleph, we're a few lines from the bottom. We'll be in the Mishnah in a second. The Mishnah on, on the test on the bottom. So now, so what happened? So Afkua that Mabaravashi, he said it's not a matana. So the Shadrul Kamei the Rav Mordechai Amalei Zil Amalei the Barmar. Go say to Barmar, meaning the son of Ravashi, Mar Baravashi. Go say to Mar Baravashi. Lav Hachi Avi Uvda was not an incident. And again, Rav Mordechai is the, of the opinion that Mar Baravashi said it's not a matana, not a matana. So now, Ki Avi Koi there was an Uvda Mar Chad Kari Aarav Chad Kari Adarg. It's amazing. They want to tell you exactly when it happened. There was a mice where Ravashi was, he had one foot on the floor and one foot on the rung of a ladder. They said to him, what's the din of the matana of a pu'uta, of this child? So he said it's a matana. Your father said it's a matana. So we heard you didn't. In other words, he really did say it's a matana. Anyway. So the matana is a matana. And they, 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 it is a good matana. They give, okay. Says the Mishnah. And these are, again, many Allahists that we're going to say because of Dakishalom. 
Kayin, Kaira Rishayin. What we're familiar with, we call the Kayin up first to the Torah. The Achra of Levi, number two, and the number two spot is Levi. The Achra of Yisrael, and in the third spot is Yisrael. What's this? Mifnei Darka Shalom. Mifnei Darka Shalom. And we'll speak about this a little later when we get that finally in the Daf. Second in, Ma'arvin Bayas Hayashim Fnei Darka Shalom. Oh, guys, outside, outside Yediya time, those of us who learn Masech the Erevin are familiar that the houses those days were made interesting. You had a house that went into a chatzar, and the chatzar went into a, it could be a mavoi, or went to a shusarabim. Okay? You have distinct rishuyos. The house to the, the chatzar is one, one to rishus, from the house to the chatzar. That's all we need. The chacham and geyser, if we allow you to take from your house to a chatzar, you may go from a rishus ayachit to a shusarabim, and be mechal shabbos. So to avoid that, what we did was, they made one chutzer. They made the chutzer belong to everybody. So it was considered one rishos. The vehicle that accomplished that was they would take food, they would take a meal, and leave it in a person's house. They leave it in a person's house, and it's like they all own that. So therefore, it's all one rishos. That's called an Erev Chatzerois, an Erev, a mixture of Chatzerois. It makes, it makes it all one thing. That's the halacha of, so now, if you're accustomed to leaving it by one person, you should always leave it by that person play Dr. Shalom. We will do these. The, today's staff is all going to be about the first shot with Koyen. But if they Dr. Shalom, as we're going to see, you go ahead and that if you keep it in that person's house, you should be Mishana, as the Gemara will explain. So that's the second dinner of the Dr. Shalom. Amid Beis, we're on Nun Tes Amid Beis. Nun Tes Amid Beis. And a third din, they used to go ahead and they would have irrigation from a, from a, a canal. And you worry about the canal drying up. So what they would do is they would dig ditches and they would create a, a, a water cistern, a bar, that the water would empty into. So who gets first dibs on this? So bar shu karv la'ama, the bar that's closest to the ama, to the canal, mismali barishon, mishnei shalom. To avoid a fight, he would get first dibs. Mitsuda ischayev oifais v'dagim, yesh ben mishum gezel, mishnei dakka shalom. Now, you, you have there's different types of traps. There's netting. Uh, there's a trap. Let's say you you would let's say you dig a, a ditch and you cover it up with with um, palms, and the lion comes along and falls into the ditch. So that's a trap. A lion walks along and falls into a a net. That's a trap. The difference is one has a base keyboard and one doesn't. One the boris is a receptacle area and the mat doesn't. So the ms it's not cleaner. It's not kind of really so anyone should be able to come along and take that lion. And if they dark shalom, this is my trap that I said, you get to keep the lion. Okay. If I was lying, trust me, I would say you could you could have a play shalom take take it. And Detroit, they, they don't do well. Anyway. Rabbi Yesi, I'm a Gezel Gama. Rabbi Yesi says this is Gezel Gama with the Midrabana, this would be Gezel Gama. Mamish Gezel Gama, if you take at his trap, we Gezel Gama. Next in, Mitzia's Cherishite of a cotton. If a Cherishite of a cotton, if they find something, if they find an object, Yesh Memishum Gezel, if they Dr. Shalom, you can't take, even though they can't be Kaina, nonetheless, to take it away from them, you don't, because Dr. Shalom, I'm a Gezel Gomer, again, Midrayim, it would be stealing. Oni Hamanaki Baresh Hazayas, the Oni's on top of the tree, a Zayas tree, he's taking a, 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 some type of stick and he's banging down that the olive should fall to the floor. I guess it must be that this is peyo or something that he left over the field. And whatever's underneath it, it's to take and stay dark shalom. Finally, if an akam comes to a field to collect manasaniyam, we won't stop him. Okay, so stay dark shalom, we won't stop him. Okay, right now, all we need is the first din. What was the first din? That Kayin, Levi, Yisrael. The Kayin is gets batting in the batting order. The Kayin is always first off. Like we take for granted, this is the sugya that explains this, right? Now, Pashas, we're going to see in the sugya, Lachar, it's the Raisa. We have a Pasik for it. So if it's the Raisa, we have a Pasik for it with Dark Shalom, which is the Gemara's discussion. Minani Mili. How do you know the Kayin gets first? Amarav Masna, Damakra, the Pasik says, Right? And Moshe. <coughs> Thank you.
And he gave it to the Kahanim B'nai Levi and Noisim Asa'arim. So where do you see the Kriya over here? So if you look at Rashi, guys, the Yitna, Sheyik Ruba. He gave it to them for one reason. Sheyik Ruba Kahanim, Bahad B'nai Levi. So you see the purpose. You know, in the old days, when you got an Aliyah, you had to lay in the Aliyah. In the old days, you, you got an Aliyah, you had to lay in the Aliyah. The first person would make the Bracha, you would, and then he, he, he would go ahead and lay in the Aliyah. He would not make a Bracha afterwards. Then the next person would lay in the third, and the final person, he would make the bracha, the, the bracha afterwards. It was like he went beginning to end and in between. So he gave it over to the Khan, they should know how to read the Torah. That everyone should, it's like, a, it's, it's Moshe's ticket, right? He gave him the Torah to read. So what do you see over here? They call Kahan of Nelevi. But do I know that the the Kahan of Nelevi? Don't I know that what? That the Kahan of Nelevi that come from Levi? Ella, what is what Ella? So it says, what's the reason that it says Kahan of Nelevi? The Kahan of Nelevi, Ninu? Ella Kayan Beresha. First the Kayan, first the Kayan goes, Baha the Levi. So that's the Pasik of Rav Masli. Rabbi Yitzchak Nafa, Mami Hacha. The Nixhu Kahan of Nelevi. And it says, the Nixhu Kahan of Nelevi. So Ken Zayin Levarech make brachas. It has to do with the Torah. So what happens? Same kasha. But when all the dinah the kind of nei levi ninu ela koyin bereisha v'hada levi. Rav Ashi Yama mehacha. Then in pasuk in in the Kabbalah in the Bayayami. Then Amram Aaron and Moshe by Yibodel Aaron lehaktishoy kodesh kedoshim bu born of Adai Lam. So why is Aaron mentioned first before Moshe, right? Obviously that what that Moshe was a Levi, Aaron was a Kayin, Aaron comes first. This is the one that we, we give. This is the one that is brought down Lalacha. Mechacha. The Pasik says, Ki dashtoi, I magdish him. Ki es lechem alakechu magrit. You should be magdish to Koyen. Why? Because he eats lechem Hashem. What does Ki dashtoi mean? That one word. Lechol davash ebektusha. Any davash ebektusha, he comes first. Tadam be'i v'shmoyel. Ki dashtoi, lechol davash ebektusha. Lechtoi ech rishayim. If you buy Shabbat Shaver Bachis, and you're hunkering down for a lot of speeches. The opening speech is the Kayin. Bulavarech and, and Rishon gets the first bracha and benching. Balit al mana yafa Rishon gets the best steak. He gave the Kayin first to take. Amli Abayla Rabbi Yosef, say Dak Shalom, they're Isahi. Now you just told me that the Kayin gets up first. Why? Dak Shalom. But you're bringing Psukim. And the four psukim that you brought with what were all what from, from the Torah proper. Three of from the Torah proper. A Muslim Kabbalah. So how can you say it's Dark Shalom? Bikidashtoi. Let's go with that shot. Bikidashtoi. Rabbi Shmuel says he gets first dibs. Minat Torah. So what are you telling me? Dark Shalom. So I'm a lay. So the Yisrael told the buyer, the Raisa of the Dark Shalom. Like of Shimon, time at the cross. You know the reason he gets first is because of Dark Shalom. Says the right. buyer. How do you know Levi gets? How do you know Levi gets the second person? We didn't ask that. I'm asking again. You can ask that. Or Kayan, I don't know Levi's next. Maybe well, you so, you, you look, again. I, I think that it said Levi after Kayan each time. It said Levi after Kayan each time. But we're going to see. It would make sense in Lumdis. We're going to see in a second. Just hang in there. At the end of the sugi, you'll understand. If you don't, I'll take your question then. Okay. And I appreciate you not, not saying, can I ask you a question? And just disturbing. It makes things much easier. Now, says the Gemara, I'm a, I'm a lay. So he goes, it's the Raisa of the Daka Shalom. In other words, that's the time, the reason why it's the Raisa that he gets for us is Daka Shalom to avoid fighting. Says Abaya, call it her a cool name of the Daka Shalom, if that's the case. The ways of the Torah are sweet. And what? And pleasant, and it's ways of shalom. So I'm not buying your terrets of Yosef. Ella, I'm Rabbi, I'll tell you the terrets. The reason why it's the, it's if it's the Raisa, the reason why it's dark is shalom, mar for Rabbi's din. Mar Rabbi always called always called Mar the master Rabbi Bar Nachman. The Tanya, Shnayim Mamtin and Zelazab the Two people eating from the same plate. One person gets up to leave, wait for the other person comes back to eat. Shlesha, three people, Imam Tina. And if you're eating three from the same plate, no, one person gets up, two people can continue eating. Aboitseya, the one who breaks the bread, 
And if he wants to give covet to his master or someone who's greater than him, then he could. But Amamar Allah, Loy Shanu, when does can the Kayain be Michael Ella Bisuda? Only what if it's Bisuda? Avu with Basak Nesses, Loy, but the Basak Nesses, you can't be Michael, the Asi Le Ansuye, because you may come to go ahead one and fight. So, guys, outside, by contact. Midor Raisa, the coin gets first, the Kidashtai. Midor Raisa, the coin can be Michael on his coven and give it to somebody else. However, Mithne Darkish Shalom, right? Mithne Darkish Shalom, right? We're worried there's going to be a fight. So, therefore, they said the coin gets first regardless. That's the shot. Now, think about this Musa Haskell over here. It's amazing how the Chachomim understood human nature. You're sitting there. <laughs> Who did they call up for an aliyah? This guy. You look at, look at yourself and say, this guy got an aliyah over me? I haven't been called up in a month. This guy's getting aliyah over me. I'm much more chasher than he is, right? Once you leave it open for discussion, the mida, the taiva of gaiva of COVID comes so strong that you're going to come to fight. The client's going to say, listen, the client's going to say, I'm giving it to Yenem. What's the other going to say? Ich bin greiser von Yenem. I'm bigger than him. Why is he getting it? And it's going to lead to a fight. But now, since everybody knows who gets called up first, the Koyen, ain ma ledaber oid. That's it. Finito. Mamish, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So it's, it's just unbelievable. It's, it's, had a chacham and the the to the, Human nature, they understood human nature well and the and, and the need for COVID that people have. The need for COVID that people have, they would come to fight. There's a Chavitz Chaim that says an unbelievable thing. It says, Kol aroi devacha COVID, right? COVID aroi dev mimenu. Kol aroi dev mina COVID. Kol ha roi dev mina COVID. COVID aroi dev achra. So what's the difference? What's the difference? Either way, you're not getting it. The answer is when you stop running. When a person dies, then the cover catches up with him. Right? If you're always running after, you'll never get it. But if it's running after you and you stop running, then you get it. The Chavetz Chaim said that there's not nothing in this world. There's nothing in this world that that is it's like COVID. He said COVID is something that's not in this world because it makes no sense. Think about what people do for COVID. Think about it. Alexander Aaron Barr killed Alexander Hamilton for COVID. A duo, right? We have the, remember the French, they would take a glove and smack you across the face. And the next thing you know, they're dueling pistols. Why? For COVID. Road rage. A guy cut you off. You have mice in the whole road rage. A guy cut you off. You cut me off. The next thing you know, they're shooting each other. It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy thing. There's a COVID, however, that's a little different than COVID. You know, I, I got to tell you, you get called up for, a, you know, a bracha at a chasana. You know, uh, Listen, a mensch is a mensch. Mensch is a mensch, right? My Rosh Shiva said, COVID, but for it happens on the MS, person has to be aware of himself that COVID is something that is, that so the Chavetz Chaim says, you have to run away from COVID. You know why? Because since it makes no sense, it may take away from your Elam Haba. Since it makes no sense, it may take away from your Elam Haba. Therefore, you should run away from it. Because it's, it doesn't make any sense what a person is willing to do for it. it it's it's aim something that's that's not in this world, that a person has this need for COVID. But you see, Mamish, guys, this whole Din of a coin getting the aliyah first, even though it has a derisive thicker source, he could be Michael on it. And the reason why he gets it first is all because of COVID. Because no one, no matter who you are, now we'll see a little bit in the Gemara. It's, 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 uh, it's interesting. Okay, says the Gemara Vaita. Amr of Masna. You know why? The Shrihi Rabin. Oh. Shrihi Rabbim, there's a lot of cover there, right? That's what cover is when there's a lot of people. Anyone can get it because there's no, not too many people there. Toysus says, guys, this might look a little, little Toysus, the second Toysus, the last few words. We also give the Koyen first because we have people come to Shul 
in those days they went to work, they couldn't go to Davin. We bar Hashem were able to Davin Mondays and, and, and Thursdays. So Mimel it's like then as well. Taisa says back in the Gemara. Now you're telling me that the darkest shalom that the coin always gets number one. Rav Huna was called up for, for Koyen, and he wasn't a Koyen. He was called up for Shabbos for Yontif. So it's more shiny Rav Huna, the feeler of Ami, Ravasi, Kahane, Chashibi, Deretz Yisrael. Even the greatest Kahane in Eretz Yisrael, Rav Ami, Ravasi, Rabbi Ami, Ravasi, Me'echavi, Kaifile, they were machnir themselves to the great Rav Huna, who was from Bavo, by the way. They, they machnir them. So therefore, now, Toysus speaks out, this is a big race. So let's say Ramesha Feinstein would come to Shul, would he get, would he get Rishon? Based upon this Gemara, right? Ramesha Feinstein would be able to get Rishon. We don't pass on like that. Toysus says that you need two components. It's mashma that you need that, you need that, um, we have this capacity of, of that there's no one greater than you, and people are, like, accept you as, you know, as, some, as some, someone uniquely special. Okay. Um, so, I, I think the, they bring down, it's brought down in the tour, it's brought down from Rav, Rav Haigoyen, that, that we, we don't fool around with this. Even though, based upon Pesachat Gemara, based upon Pesachat Gemara, you, I'll leave with you in a second, right? Uh, you raise your hand. So the, the based upon Pesachat, that the, by Rav Haig, we, we don't make, we don't make shinoyim, we don't make changes. And that's why we always, no matter who he is, we call a coin first. Yeah, who the, yeah. I believe also the component is that you're allowed to give the, a God will reshine if it's his own private minion. It's not a public minion. By his own private minion, he's able to get because he makes the rules. Well, again, by, by the public minion, you definitely wouldn't come to fight. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm saying by, by a private even a minion, allowed... minion. Even a smaller minion, it's mashma that, 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 that it's not the minion of cover that, you know, he could be Michael. In other words, the coin could, the coin could be Michael in a smaller minion because it's not a Rabbin. It's not because it's his minion. It's because it is Gemara. The Gemara says the whole Yisoyed is one of out of a fighting. Once you remove the fighting, the coin can be Michael and his covet. So you have a co- you have a, a smaller minion, and you don't have the the, the rabbin there, where you don't have to worry about covet. Then he can be Michael and give it to him. Makes sense, right? So that's that's the that's the that's the sugya. Okay, Viter. Very fascinating. We'll finish up here. Amar Abaya Naktinan. Again, I keep on. It's amazing. I point out, guys. You'll see throughout Shas the, the next. Mesech the Gittin is the one Mesech that's full of this Mesoira. Naktinon. So a Rashi, a Ravin, he Amid Beis. Naktinon. So Mesoira, ain, ain, Sham Kayin. Once the Kayin's not there, Nispardo Chavila, the rope is broken. Once the Kayin's not there, the rope is broken. Let's see Rashi. What does that mean? Nispardo Chavila, Nifsa Kakesher, Ibid Halevi Es Kvaydoi. The Levi lost his spot. The Levi's, in answer to Mayor Usher's questions, the Levi Gobi number two is contingent upon being the Mishoris of the Kayin. Once the Kayin is out, Mayor Usher, then the Levi's out as well. And therefore, Bishvil Chavilo is Sainif Rodais. The Eina Korek Klau, according to the first Lushin, once it's gone, the Levi doesn't get an Aliyah at all. But Mayor, that answers your question. The Levi is contingent upon the Kayin, and that's why he gets second. And the, Ch- the Chsam Seifer explains that. Since he's the Misharis of the Kayin, but Mokum like Kayin, there's no Hashivas to the Levi, and the Meli doesn't get. Okay, but Rashi's first Lashin is that we'll get it all. Look at Rashi's second Lashin. The Kach say the Ravamram, I will meet Hamide Mori of Yitzhak Halevi Shamati Mishmoi, Shain say the Ladivri Lahaktim Levi Israel, Umisha Yitzhi Yaktim. In other words, now you don't have an, a, no pecking order. Since the Kayin's not there, Yisrael can even get before a Levi. Now we know there's problems. You saw getting before a levy because he, they'll think that the, the Yisrael is a kayin because the levy got second, right? That's 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 the Torah. But this is the two pshatim over here. Once the kayin's out, the levy's out. Once the kayin's out, lav dafka the levy has to get in the two spot. The levy can get in another spot. It's the fit of the gishmaka gemara. Omer Abaya naktinon ain't shem levy kara kayin. If there's no levy, it's mashma you call a second kayin again. If there's no levy, you call a second kayin. Ini is it really so? You call a second kayin. Vam Rav Yochanan kayin acha kayin leyikra mishum pagame shal rishayin. A kayin after another kayin, you shouldn't call. Why? Because they're going to think the first guy wasn't a kayin, and that's why you're calling up the second one. Levi acha levi, a levi in the shlishi slat, 
a levy in the Shlishi slot, don't call out after a levy in the Shani slot, because you have a problem with both of them. And the Gemara is asking a question, why by Kahanim don't you have a problem with both of them, right? So you have a problem, Levi Ach Levi, you have a problem with both of them, right? Why do you have a problem with both of them? Says Rashi. They don't know the Pagam of which one. Beyomru, Rishon ain't a Levi, Lefika Chaz of a Levi. Meaning, the guy in the two spot, why they call a Levi in the three spot? Why they call a Levi the Shlishi? It must be because the Levi and Shani is not a Levi. Inami, Shani ain't a Levi, Eli Yisrael, right? And maybe the Shani, right, is, 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 uh, he's called after a Levi. Maybe he's not a Levi, maybe he's Yisrael. So guys, you're going to make a problem like this. Watch, look at me. If you call a Kayin after a Kayin, it's a problem that it's a begam the first Kayin. They're going to say you called up number two because he's not a Kayin. By Levi, again, you have Levi, you have Kayin, Levi, and you're calling up this Levi. It's going to be a problem with both. The reason you called him up because this not, is not a Levi, or this is a Levi and he's a Yisrael. So it's going to go ahead and mix up both. That's the Gemara. Now the Gemara is going to ask now, by the Kayin, why are you only worried about the first Kayin? Why don't you worry about both Kahanim? The same way you worry about both Levim, worry about both Kahanim. Yeah? Let's see. Yeah, Fred and right away. Uh, oh, no, we have the Kasha. What's the Kasha? The Kasha is, how could you call up one Kayin after another Kayin? I, it's a Begam in the first Kayin. So says the Gemara, Ki Karmina Baisa Kayin. You know what I mean? You call up the same Kayin. And any Kayin knows the famous words, Dem Kom Levi. <laughs> so in other words, it, it, Kayin after Kayin doesn't mean you're calling up a separate Kayin. You're calling up the same Kayin, and therefore it's not a problem. Everyone will know he's a Kayin. Adarabah. Everyone will know he's really a Kayin, right? He's getting double action. Now, Maishna Levi, Acha Levi, Dika, Begam Shnei, you worry about both of them. The army, Chadmin, I, Olav, Levi, who, one of them is not a Levi, right? Either number one or number two. Koyin acha koyin ami, ami chad minayu lav koyin. But they'll say the second guy is a levi. Guys, what? Guys, watch. Look, look again. Let's go through it again. Koyin, levi, levi. So what are we going to say that either he is not a levi, or he's not a levi and he's Yisrael? Says the Gemara. So if you have koyin koyin, why don't we say, well, he's just like you're worried that he's not a koyin. You called him up. Why don't you say he's a Kayin and he's a Levi? Why don't you worry about the Begam the second guy saying he's a Levi, right? That's what you should worry about. Says the Gemara. My index finger, his father was a Kayin. Memuchzik that his father was a Kayin. So there's no way we're going to think he's a Levi. Since Memuchzik that he is a, his father was a Kayin, he's a Kayin. So the only one you're worried about is number one. Since you're calling up number two, it must be number one is not a Kayin. It must be number one's not a Kayin. That's why you're calling him up. So you're only worried about number one. Why aren't you worried about number two? Because with Muxik, that number two's father's a Kayin, so we won't think that he's a Levi. That's the Ukim. Says the Gemara, okay, if that's the case, why don't we say number two, the Muxik, he's a Levi, and you should only want to worry about the Yichus of number three. Hachanami, the Muxalan Bavu, the High Shani, the Levi, who? So let's say he was a Levi. El Ami, what are you going to say? The reason why he's not a Levi is why? Is because maybe his father married a, a, from the Nasinim, the Gevainim, or Mamzeris, and he's puzzled. Says, well, if that's the case, if you're worried about the Yichas of, of the second Levi, you're worried about the Yichas of, what, of the Kayin, and we'll say the Kayin in the number two spot was from, he's not a Kayin. Okay, guys, so what are you chayish for? Remember, guys, what are you chayish for? Look at my fingers. You chayish, if he's a koyen, that he is a koyen, he's going to call him a levi, correct? So now you're going to tell me that what? That his father married a garusha. Why would that make him? A Yisrael. He'd be a chal, guys. That would make him Yisrael. So you can't make that mistake. <laughs> Again, he's calling him up in the levi spot. Why are you calling him the levi spot if it's Yisrael? Elamah, therefore, you only worry about number one and not number two. It says, Gemara, soif, soif. Levi, Mikoch Havya, at the end of the day, is he not a Levi? He's easy as well. So therefore, you're not worried about the spot. Now, here's the question. Tell us, if you were in Shul and they called up a second Kayin, you would know on a, you would know by the numbers of an Aliyah what the story is. There's seven Aliyahs, correct? You'd be able to count. You wouldn't be able to make a mistake. You know Kayin. They called up the second Kayin and they'd have seven more Aliyahs. So you know this problem with the first Kayin, 
right? Or, or, or you know that the levy after the levy, you know, you know, being in shul, you'd count the aliyahs up. You would know that it's not a problem. So says the Gemara, Ulaman, Ilyashvin, Avikachazile. They would see the Koyin Rishon, right? That he counts for the minion of. In other words, guys, watch what happens. Koyin, Koyin, we're muchzik that he's a Koyin. You called up five more Elias. You got all seven Elias. So I got Koyin in the first slot. I got a Koyin in the second slot. I have five more Elias. Good. Now, what are you going to say? The, the second Koyin is muchzik that he's a Koyin. We're not worried about the second Koyin. You're going to say it's a Pagam in the first Koyin. That's why we called him the second Koyin. Count the Elias. If he was a Pagam, you'd have to give another Aliyah. You'd have to have eight Elias to go ahead and, and, and do over the first one. So, Mamela, what's the Gemara's problem? So, says the Gemara, Eliyashu and Hagachazile. And for the Gemara, Eliyashin, right? Oh, it's only the people who leave Shul. The people who leave Shul during laning, they're going to go ahead and have a problem. Okay, let's finish the Gemara. Shalchan Nebe Galila Reb Chelboy Achrei. Achrei Mikarin. Okay, you have a Karin Levi. Who gets the Yisrael? We're worried about COVID. What's the pecking order? So here's the pecking order. Lehavi biyade. He didn't right. Rabbi Chelbo didn't know. Also b'shayl Rabbi Yitzchak nafka amalei achreihem. And after them, the the, the number shlishi after the koyin v'levi koyin talmud chacham hamemuna parnas al tzibur. The talmud chacham who's in this position of parnas, the leader of the of the, of the tzibur. Achreihem and Rabbi. Someone who's not in that position yet, but he's Roy. The children of that of, of number three. And then afterwards, and then afterwards, what you it would go you would you would go ahead and call up anybody. Okay. I wish everyone a great Shabbos. We'll see you next Shabbos. Says Hashem. Okay. Probably ten o'clock, guys. I'll tell you right now, Shir will be Moitzah Shabbos at 10 o'clock. Have a great Shabbos. Thank you, Shabbos.